Hi guys, it's Promi Sebastian here again. I'm back again with another awesome tutorial on the best way to quad remesh your object to get a sound topology and still retain the detail on that mesh. Okay, so it's not quadriflow, trust me, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to be duplicating this object now. I'm going to let's click and hold and then drag box select all the whole object now. Then I'm going to right click now, go over to duplicate object. So I will let, I will let's click on duplicate object instead of duplicate link. So I'm going to constrain it to the X axis by clicking X and then drag to the left. So I have a duplicate of this now. So I'm going to use the quad remesher on this one. And then I'm going to use my own method of re remeshing and getting something and returning the detail on this one. So now I'm going to click on this mesh now. So it's not joined to the mesh, I separated it already. So then if you don't know how to separate it, this one is not separated already. Just let's click on the one that is not separated, Control Tab 6 and head over to edit mode. Keep your cursor on that object or that mesh and then keep uh, left, left click and then press L to select that hand or whatever it, uh, it is. So once you left click, press P now and then let's click on separate by selection. So it separates it for you. So if you head back to object mode now, you have your hand okay so now let's head back to our topology okay so this is about let's head back to the edit mode and see what we have the number of faces now if you don't have your own showing the number of faces that are showing the statistics here what you just have to do is head over to this um double circle that's the one with a field circle and outline circle merging together the arrow drop down they just left click on that arrow pointing down then click on statistics you see if i uncheck it now the statistics goes up so if i click on that again and then check statistics it's back on to so check that statistics and then you're going to have your own showing the number of faces so the number of faces i have here it's about 163,000, and this is really huge this is high poly then i want to remesh this to reduce it to about just 10,000 faces to make it low poly and still retain my data how do i do that okay so let's try quad remesh on this now see what we are going to get so i'm going to head over to the object data properties if you don't know the quad remesh that is where you get it you head over to your object data properties scroll down to remesh here so in remesh you have two remesh options voxel and then quad okay so for now we're going to be using the quad remesh because that is what i want to explain here this which is the one that will give you a sound and clean topology okay now so let's use the quad remesh that's quadriflow remesh that's the name so i'm going to type in okay ten thousand faces on their foot you're not going to see ten thousand you might see a custom number of faces but then type in ten thousand okay that's what we want to re remesh this to and then make sure you check this smooth normals. It makes it that it's auto shade smooth. It once you just check this one. This one is for symmetry shade in case you are mirroring the object. So we are not mirroring our object. We'll just check uh, shade smooth and then it's checked now. So the number of faces, you don't need to touch this again. This is great. Just increase the number of faces you need and then leave this on faces. So we are going to click OK now. So it starts the remission. So it has started the remission. I'll hold shift and pan to this other side. So it's kind of lagging a little bit so it has started is about 40 40 percent so quadruple remesh is not that fast it's not something you just click and then it happens most times okay and, and it takes time most of the time before it remeshes the whole object okay so it actually has 50 percent and it's going to be done okay now it's done now you see what i got you see how it spoils this topology now and then you see this detail i had here now is no longer there even when i shade auto smooth i still don't have that detail there but then let's try this other way now so let's back let's let's pan to this other i would shift now and then press and hold my middle mouse button and then drag then drag so this one i'm going to use this method now so if you know the decimate modifier i'm sure you should know it and then i don't know if you use it a, a lot but that is an awesome modifier there okay so let's head back to the add modifier here in the modifier tab we will head back to add modifier the decimate modifier so i've added the decimate modifier now and then you have three menus here but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be using the unsubdivide one the one that has on subdivide that's the menu for them uh decimate modifier then this one that has subdivide you have it has the number of faces here listed for you then you are going to reduce the number of faces now so let's unsubdivide this mesh now to let me press two first so you you see the level of detail is going to be giving me so now i have forty thousand details and if you look closely you could see that this detail detail of this mesh is still written so let me try to tap um that is typing for so it's on the on device it on four on a four scale so if you look closely now, you see the number of faces I have here is 10,240. And then it has actually retained this um, detail to a good amount. So let me just apply this decimate modifier now and apply now. So let's 
it's applying so it has applied now and then let's head over to this one so you see what the um quadriflory mesh did to this one let me zoom in so you see and then let's head over to the edit mode now so you see what it looks like edit mode now so you see what the topology looks like so quadriflory mesh will always give you a sound topology but then it didn't do much work on returning the detail but then look at this one now you see i have my detail and everything is clean with just ten thousand pages this is just ten thousand so now if i head over to the edit mode now you see how it retained the topology so i don't know if you use this um but this is really really awesome okay okay so if you don't use it try it out and see what you get okay so thanks for watching this awesome tutorial okay so i have a course on this killer bean you've seen here how to sculpt it and get every detail here on my store okay so you could head there check the, the link is in the description link and then you get your own and then become sculpt learn how to sculpt and become a better blender sculptor a better 3d sculpt okay so guys thanks for watching once again don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell bo notification button to get awesome tutorials from me okay see you guys on the next tutorial